Renault has failed to fire across F1's opening triple header, reliability yet again costing it points and momentum as its midfield rivals march ahead, gaining ground in the Constructors' Championship. The French mark is sixth in the standings after three events, 12 points to show from a trio of eighth places. The midfield now led by McLaren and Racing Point, Ferrari suffering in fifth. With team principal Cyril Lebitable admitting after Budapest that eighth on the road is where our car probably is right now, given the strength of the field. Daniel Ricciardo says there's still pace to be unlocked though, enough to challenge the Pink Panthers. But it's thrown away points with poor reliability as well. This time with the RS20's radiators, a weld failure leading to leaks and identical retirements for Ricardo in Austria, Esteban Ocon in Styria. Issues that should have been discovered during its private two-day test at the Red Bull Ring last month. Renault given special dispensation to be at the Austrian venue two weeks before the opening round, given quarantine restrictions in both the UK and France. That went very well. Both drivers did, I think, more than a race distance each in, in the day. Uh, I think, in fact, Esteban did nearly 500 kilometers. So, so we, had a, we had a couple of very productive days there. But Renault is under no illusions as to the mountain of work it's got to do to reclaim fourth at the head of the midfield, with a beatable brutally honest ahead of July's curtain raiser. I want to don't play any, any, any expectation because we know that our car was really, really bad last year. Uh, so we just hope that we will be uh, slightly better. Renault will be hoping for more incremental improvements at the two Silverstone races ahead with two-time F1 world champion Fernando Alonso no doubt watching on with interest. Even though he's admitted next year is also a write-off in preparation for 2022, with the 38-year-old hoping he can lift the crown again as he approaches his 40th birthday. As far as I saw Formula One for many years, time watch is the only thing that matters. So, not the age. I never had a, a classification on the race based on the passport, date of birth, always on the time watch. So hopefully we're still fast, no faster than them. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.